We end tonight with one of the most potent powers on earth. It can change lives in an instant. Everyone has it. It's the power to forgive. Watch it now in action in Steve Hartman's Assignment America. Thank you, Lord. In a small apartment building in North Minneapolis, a 59-year-old teacher's aide sings praise to God for no seemingly apparent reason. Indeed, if anyone was to have issues with the Lord, it would be Mary Johnson. For all you've done for me. He never had a chance. In February 1993, Mary's son, Loramian Bird, was shot to death during an argument at a party. He was 20, and Mary's only child. My son was gone. The killer was a 16-year-old kid named O'Shea Israel. I wanted justice. He was an animal. He deserved to be caged. And he was. Tried as an adult and sentenced to 25 and a half years, O'Shea served 17 before being recently released. He now lives back in the old neighborhood, close to Mary. This close. He lives next door. Next door. How a convicted murderer ended up living a door jam away from his victim's mother is a story not of horrible misfortune, as you might expect, but of remarkable mercy. A few years ago, Mary asked if she could meet O'Shea here at Minnesota's Stillwater State Prison. As a devout Christian, she felt compelled to see if there was some way, if somehow, she could forgive her son's killer. What'd she say?